So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get your gun rights restored, what's the process I went through, and I'm trying to be concise, detailed, and give y'all everything y'all need to know in this video. Uh, the first question I get is who can do it, what crimes is eligible, what people is eligible, if it got it, if it could be federal, state, what the law says, 2923-14, that's what y'all want to look up. It says any person prohibited may apply. So if you are a person and you are prohibited from carrying a gun, you can apply. Do it. There are a few exceptions. Those are people who are classified as violent career criminals and people who have two or more of the same conviction. And it's only a couple convictions that you got to have two or more of. It's like robbery and uh, gun spec and a couple other things. You got to read that close because I had people look at it and say, oh, my crime not available. I'm like, what's your crime? I did this. Well, it says you got to do that two or more times to be disqualified from relief from disability. Okay, then. A little bit more detail about what I did, the steps I took, the process of how I got my rights restored. After I got out of prison, you know, I'm around my family, Ken, they got guns, friends got guns, and I'm nervous because I was told that while I'm on PRC or after I get out, I'm not allowed to be around a gun, I'm not allowed to touch a gun, I can't be in the same car as anybody who got a gun. And I'm like, you know, this just ain't fair. So basically what you're saying is, I can't hang around my family or they can't have their security with them if we gonna be together. That wasn't right. So I got to looking it up, got into the laws, found this. Uh, the first thing I did was I contacted an attorney and the attorney was like, no. Nah. We can't do it. You got to get your record expunged. Ain't that a bitch? Another attorney I talked to said, we can put in a petition for relief from disability, but it's going to cost you two bands. I was like, dang, two bands? I, don't, I ain't got that. I just got out the joint. Ain't been out that long. Got a family. I ain't got two bands to drop on this issue. But what he said made me think. Relief from weapons disability. Never heard of it. Never thought of it. Got in Google. Type it up. Bam, that's when it hit me. 2923-14 of the Ohio Revised Code. I got in that law, I read it, I read it 20, 30 times front and back, made sure that I was eligible. Once I determined that my case was eligible through this course, I'm like, okay, gotta do a little bit more research. Kept searching, kept searching, looked up other cases, other people who went through it, other people got their gun rights back, and I'm like, okay, this legit, I gotta try it. Once I had a good understanding of the law and I knew I was eligible for it, I called down to my county and asked them, hey, I want to file this petition for relief from weapons disability. The first lady I talked to said, no, you can't do that. You got to have a lawyer. A lawyer's got to get your record expunged. I'm like, well, I'm looking at this law. The law doesn't say that. She's like, well, you can't do that here. I call back, get somebody else on the phone. She looks it up and she's like, you know, I guess she was a vet. She'd been there for a long time. It took me a while to even get her on the phone. But once I got to talking to the supervisor, she's like, okay, yeah, all you got to do is you come down here to the courthouse and you file it here. All right. So I went down to the courthouse. Like, all right, so where's the paper at? They're like, well, we don't have a paper for that. And so how do I file my petition? She's like, well, you're going to write it out. You can either do it here today or you can go home, write it out and bring it back. But I want it now! So instead of me taking a chance and just writing something in a couple boxes or on a piece of paper there, I decided that I want to take my time, do this right. So I went back to the crib, wrote out my petition. And this is what it looked like right here. Uh, my petition ain't super long, but it's a lot longer than the boxes in the counties that they do have a paper where they're going to have you fill that out. What I wrote is a lot longer than that. I wanted mine to be clear and concise. I didn't want to have run on sentence and rambling, but I wanted the judge to get a good understanding of who I was. I told him about my life before prison, told him about the things that I learned in prison that changed me, and I told him about my life after prison. Everything that I wrote in that was to prove that I am currently living a law-abiding life and I don't appear likely to reoffend. Anyway, he's a good guy. 
I can't stress to you enough how important it is to get really detailed in your letter. Don't leave anything out because if it's any criminal cases, anything you got anywhere else, the prosecutor is going to find that. So write that, get real detailed with it, put everything in there, put your heart into this. I mean, this is your gun rights. This is your life. Nobody is going to fight harder for you than what you are willing to fight for you. And if you ain't willing to do it, then don't even try it. Don't waste their time. If you gonna do it, do it right. Somebody told me that you can accomplish anything with a well-written letter, and this is proof of that. Who would have thought that a felon with an F1 would get out and get their gun rights restored? If I could do it, I know that you can do it. So the letter is not the only thing that I had with me when I took the court. I had all this, this is a packet, this is a bunch of pages. What's in here is uh, job history, resumes, uh, five letters of recommendation from people. Everything you put in your packet, in your paperwork, the thing you type out, you wanna have proof that everything you tell the judge is true. Because if you can't prove everything, they can deny you. I know how absurd that sounds, but I was really into this so I was reading other cases where people had went forth and did this and I read one where a dude got denied the judge really didn't want to get him his gun rights back don't know what crime he did but when he got denied they said it was because he was unable to prove some of the things that he had in his packet and one of the things he couldn't prove was that he was married crazy I need proof proof <laughs> so what I'm saying is if you say that you got a job, a good job, bring proof of that job to work. Bring pieces of paper if you can, bring your boss, bring a co-worker. If you say you're married, bring your wife to work. If you say you got kids, bring that to work. If you say you got a car, bring that to work. Anything you say that is different from when you were committing crime to now, bring proof of that to court. That is really, really important. The other thing you want to do is make sure you know that law better than the judge, better than the prosecutor. They got to learn tons of laws. They got to defend tons of people. You ain't the only person they see in that day. But all you got to do is know 2923-14. If you can learn that law better than them, which I know you can, you got the upper hand in that courtroom. Argue, argue, argue. So since I had read other cases, I had a good understanding of what to expect when I got into that courtroom for my hearing. Um, I know that they didn't always send the prosecutor out, but when I got to court, the prosecutor was there. Like, dang. So I'm thinking like, dang, man, I really should have got a lawyer. I don't know how I'm gonna argue against this prosecutor. He's well-practiced in the law, but I did my homework. At that time, I wasn't thinking about it like that, but I'm pretty sure I had studied that law way harder than anybody else in that room. And that gave me the upper hand. The prosecutor gave a ton of reasons why he felt like I shouldn't have had my gun rights back. Well, I ain't gonna say a ton, but he gave his reasons. Everything he said, I had a reply. Everything he said, I had a rebuttal. Everything he said, I was able to fight and prove to him that he was wrong in that courtroom. And at the end of the day, the judge gave me my gun rights back. I can't believe you actually won. So this right here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's it. And the matter came before the court on May. Hearing applicant Scott motion for relief from weapons disability. The court determines that the applicant met all the statutory requirements to be eligible for relief from disability pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 2923-14. Therefore, the court grants the applicant's motion and hereby restores the applicant, Scott, all civil firearm rights pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 2923-14 subject to the conditions forth therein. So there's conditions. The conditions is if you commit another crime, they're going to take your gun rights back. But I bought this out to show you. I redacted a bunch of shit because it's a bunch of crazy people on the internet. Y'all do some weird shit. But yeah, it's yours. Get your gun rights back. I know I ain't the most genius man in the world, but What's the difference between me and you? Your bald head. You can do it. You can get your gun rights back. Nobody's going to fight harder for you than you're going to fight for you. I'm on this channel. I'm trying to do some things. I'm trying to spread the word. I'm trying to inform everybody. Rights Restored is not just me. This is for 
all of us, every felon out there that get their gun rights back, hit me up. We're going to link up. We're going to hit the range. We're going to do some things. Bruh, get your gun rights back. Spread the word. Let everybody else know. Because afterwards, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just keep it quiet. Keep it on the DL because I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to get in trouble. Then I made that TikTok video and it got hundreds of thousands of views, hundreds of likes, everything. And a whole bunch of people had questions. And I'm like, all right, I got to do something about it. So if you're here, follow me on this journey. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what's next for me, but I'm going to keep pushing in. I'm going to keep going forward. I'm going to keep spreading the word, letting everybody know that you got the right to get your gun rights back. Uh, once you get them, be careful. Once you got that paper in your hand, I made I made 30 copies of this. 33, I don't know what number. I just put a number in the uh, printer and I got one everywhere, one in every gun box. Got one in this gun box, one in that one. I need you to make five copies of these. This information ain't just for me. Like, share, subscribe. You know a felon, you think he's eligible, you think he wants his gun rights back. Tag him in this video, send it to him. If y'all got more questions, hit him down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank y'all for all the support y'all showed me on TikTok. And we're going to do this for all the felons that ain't got their gun rights back. This information ain't just for me. Like, share, subscribe. You know a felon, you think he's eligible, you think he wants his gun rights back. Tag him in this video, send it to him. If y'all got more questions, Hit them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank y'all for all the support y'all showed me on TikTok. And we're going to do this for all the felons that ain't got their gun rights back because it's yours.